What up, Joe? Are you doing a TikTok again? No, I'm doing the intro for our video. Oh, sweet. Oh, what up, man? I guess it doesn't matter because it just has that one button. What are you doing? I'm just looking at the body. What the heck is that? Just a piece that broke off the body. Why'd it break off? Because it's fiberglass and it broke off. That's not supposed know. to happen. I don't know. Oopsie. That's easy to fix though. We got stuff to do that. Mm. I'll stick that back on. Easy piece. What are we doing tonight, man? We're going to try to get this hood done. The hood? Like what? Some stuff out. See, that's the bundle. Holy shnikes, dude. That's a big hole. Yeah, I told you that. Like, on the ride back over here. Yeah. I don't remember that. But yeah. So tonight, uh, we're going to take this hood. We're going to pull all the stuff off it. Do the body work on it, and I think we're even going to try and get the Raptor liner on it. Joe ordered this kit here, and then he ordered this tent. We're going to get this open here, one hand, with that color, navy blue. So we're going to get this thing all set up, and we're just going to get right to it. Uh, we're not going to do the inside. We'll end up doing that later. We're not. I don't think he's decided yet if he's doing that black. So we're going to get this whole outside section prepped. We picked up some Bondo and a few things we got to do to fix a few spots on this hood. But that won't take too terribly long. Then all goes well. We're going to hang this thing up. We're going to spray it with Raptor liner. Yay! You want to open that door, Joe? Open it! Oh, it's gorgeous! It's 85 degrees. Beautiful. And I'm sunburned. My face is so red. Been outside working with our church's food bank, doing a lot of cool stuff there. Joe, I think I need to get some sunscreen. But anyways, we are gonna get this hood set up. We'll probably just put it on the trash can, put it out back here, and we're just gonna go to town. Uh, we're gonna show you what we're doing. Let's get to work.
wanna be a millionaire Your own form of superhero Have matters in your own hands And get away from all the zeros Will you listen to the plan And all that it demands Well here's your chance I have been listening to this air compressor non-stop for almost an hour and a half. What, about two hours now? I don't know what time it is. I don't know what time it is. Don't want to know. We only have about an hour on this thing? Well, that's not bad. Oh man, this hood is rough. Uh, so what we've been doing is just sanding, 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 sanding. Dusty! Well, I think we should probably bring that door down a little bit. Um, yeah, it's getting a little windy. I like the wind though. Uh, but so far everything's good. All these small spots have smoothed out well. On um, the big guy here, we just spread it out and smoothed out. Because we're going to use a little bit of Bondo, and then we're going to Raptor line it. Um, it's not like paint where it's going to show every little defect. Because uh, obviously you're dealing with a Ripley bedline surface. But we want it to be good looking. So we'll Bondo all these little things. And then this corner here, the question you guys are probably wondering what the heck I was doing. So this guy has a big dent. The problem is behind the dent, I don't know if you can see it. Where's that flashlight? That's better. So it's got this lip here that is a support for the hood, but it also happens to be right where the dent is. So before they used what? About a half inch of Bondo? Well, <laughs> so um, that was that's an obvious dent that was repaired. But, yeah, but they one used... of the things you'll notice is a lot of these areas on the hood in the old days, they used to actually do that. They didn't spend as much time on metal as they do today, and they didn't have the machinery to make them quite as precise. So they would literally bondo the whole thing. Yeah, and I mean, but the biggest thing here is it's just, it was way too thick. And you could see it was falling off. So I had an idea, and we're not body guys by any means, so we're not comparing anything. But I thought if we got to bondo it, what if I use this mesh and I should go ahead and shape this, which right there it's a little dented, but it's, it's fine. Um, but we go ahead and shape it because now the Bondo is going to squish into every single one of these perforated holes and grab it. So as you put it in here and you spread it in and squish it in there, you've got every single one of these little holes holding a piece of Bondo. And then we'll smooth over all this. I went ahead and ground all the weld BBs here. It's kind of, this stuff is really hard to weld. Um, even TIG welding, it's it's so thin when you're welding this thin to this thick. But anyways, we had this idea. And because we're using Raptor liner on it, we don't have to fix every single imperfection uh, because it's a thicker paint. On regular body paint, yeah, you want to Yeah, we're going to do three coats everything. on it too. So. You know, so two to three coats well, is... it's two coats and then a... And then, uh, uh, kind of a gloss. It's, it's like a dusting coat. Yeah. You do it from further away just to add a more thick texture to it after it's slightly dried, but. So most of what we did was just rough up the old paint and then yep. uh, where we, these were all little itty bitty rust spots uh, that had broken through the paint. So we took that down to the metal there just to make sure that it's nice and smooth. Uh, I'm not gonna bond to every single one of these spots, but no. there's some obvious ones here. 90% of them, these are yeah. smooth. You can't even fill But there's there. an obvious divot right here and here. So we'll put a little bit of Bondo across yep. that. Um, I got two or three spots over here that have some obvious divots. They'll get a little bit, but most of the ba most of the damage is over there. So this will be easy. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I am going to let you work on all these little holes over here. And then I'm gonna work on this corner, keep going on that, and let's make this hood look smooth. We're gonna mix it right on the hood. Right there!
Okay, Bondo. Bondo, 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 Bondo. Yay! We did the uh, we did the first coat down here. Not uh, not super thick, but it did work. It worked really well. It pushed all behind the metal. You can kind of see the perforated holes there, and all the Bondo. You can see it's a little perforated for the first coat. Uh, so that's not bad. Did a bunch of these, and then the front had some chunks here that needed to be done, um, but. It, it laid out pretty well. We need to, I missed a spot right here. We need to Did get you? that on two, coat two. We need okay, to hit that. that's a little guy though. So that's not one. bad. That that one will be visible through. through yeah, the there's monster like some liner. little cracks right yeah. there. Yeah, the Raptor liner. Oh, uh, no, Raptor will cover liner. well. Yeah, Raptor liner. Is that one good? Yeah. So a lot of these things filled in. Uh, but yeah, we got the fast dry stuff. So we're gonna let this cure for about 20 minutes, and then we can go to town shaping it, cleaning it. And if all goes well, uh, most of this should only need the one coat of Bondo. This one, we're probably gonna do potentially three, maybe two, but we're gonna sand it down and see how it's, uh, how it's doing and we'll go there. So let it cure, we'll get sanded. So far, so good. Uh, this first coat did a lot more than we actually thought it would um, in a lot of stuff. We've got uh, all cleaned up here. A couple of spots. Uh, these guys all turned out great. Gonna redo this one a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna smooth that out. And then a couple little guys, but overall, uh, doing really well. So Joe is mixing up some more Bondo. We're gonna get to work. Go for round two. Good news, the hood is done. I'm excited. This repair worked fabulous. This is just so smooth and it looks great. It's, uh, this turned out really good. Everything smoothed out. We really reduced the amount of Bondo that we got on there. Everything sanded off nice. Um, I know Joe's excited and guess what? What are we doing? We're about Woo! ready to shoot it. So, kind of talked to you about it before. This is the Tintable uh, four liter kit. Um, comes with the free gun. This is the special uh, U-Pole gun. And then uh, I chose to go with the navy blue. I think this kit ran me about 170 on eBay and that's everything I need. I did the research, found out it's about four liters to do this entire Jeep. 
So I got four liters, we're gonna give it a shot. Cool, uh, so one bottle should be enough for two coats and then a dust coat on this. Um, I can't, dust coat, whatever they call it, you do it from a little further away, it helps kind of add the texture on it. So we're gonna run through all this, finish getting this hood all cleaned off, move it over here, and it's time to spray it. Wipe down with acetone. Um, it's all clean now, degreased. I think we're ready to go. Uh, let's go check in with Joe. There he is. All right. What you got going, man? You, uh... right. So I just read the directions for the second time, and uh, I need to get my color ready. Hey, Joe, you know what's cool? What's cool? When you're talking on camera, your head's not cut off. You're so funny. Oh. All right, so according to my instructions, we will have one hour from the time I mix this. I need eight ounces of hardener, a packet of blue, and we're going to dump it all in Oh, here. this is liquid. Okay. Yeah. So... If you shake, want shake, to shake. crack that open. Oh, you want me to open one. this? Yep, go ahead and open that up. It doesn't have a tear point. Well, it says cut. I'm gonna go with scissors. I think you're I think you're smart. Ish. Thank you. Ow! Yeah, exactly. Okay. That, hence the ish. Why is there a ladder right there? It hurt. I found right. the scissors. So this is 32 fluid ounces. There are four quarts. It didn't cut. Oh, we're leaking. Don't leak, don't leak. I'm leaking, Joe. Ugh. What do I do? Put it in there. Not all over the Jeep. Scrape that. This is why we can't take you anywhere. What? It said cut here. And I made sure it was pushed down like toothpaste. You push it down to the now bottom. Now you're missing the bottle. How am I missing the bottle? I'm dead center. That's missing the bottle. Well, it's because this little flat pushed over. Mm. Stupid flat that I didn't cut is making a mess. So is this paint? It's ish, paintish, tint. Okay. I don't. Is that good? There might be a little left in there. I don't know. See how much if you can get any more in there. Well, I might cut the rest of it. Time to add Zihadna. Okay. Now that Daniel has successfully made a mess all over the place. Do you want something to wipe that down with or do you care? Wipe, what are we wiping down? Oh, the bottle? Yeah. No, nah, it's all good. Okay. I've never done this before. Neither have I. Have you ever put on a bed liner, Joe? Yes, I have, by hand. So we have done bed liners before. Uh, we did Monster Liner on a Jeep J10 we built. But Monster Liner, uh, it's a roll-on. Uh, I think you can spray it. We've never sprayed it, but uh, it's not bad. Ah! Blue paint! Oh no! Are you counting down? Oh no! We have to shake for two minutes. Did I step in it? I didn't step in it. Where did you did. No, I didn't. Who stepped? It must have dripped. Yeah, something like that. All right, Joe has to shake for two minutes. Okay, so we are all shaken up, probably about five minutes worth, because we've been getting things. So we've tested our air pressure. Directions say 40 to 60. Um, and we're gonna use the cardboard here. And 40 do to 60 test. what? 40 to 60 PSI. Oh, the pressure on the tank. So pressure on the tank. So we're gonna do a, a pattern, a spray pattern on this cardboard and make sure we like the consistency because it says that you can increase the PSI to get a finer pattern and decrease it to get a more coarse pattern. Cool, let's test it. Better to be a little further away. Yeah. Than so we're gonna try here. Well, we can always. That's why we're testing. So are we ready to test? Yes. Let's test. Here we go. Oh, that's beautiful, dude. You like that? That, that is beautiful. Yeah. What are you about? Twenty inches away? Yeah. Want to try going closer or further? No, I wouldn't do a thing. I'd say let's go ahead and get set up and spray the Jeep. That's perfect, dude. Okay. It's not thick. It, it looks a little light though. Almost like it's a little. Well, it's consistent. like yeah. With your paint, you're gonna wanna. Yeah. Don't want lighter in multiple coats. The first coat is going to be a little bit lighter. We don't want to blob it on. Um, and then we need to make sure we look how long before the second coat. I don't remember. So, uh, okay. Uh, with this, because we want to get up here on this lip, I'm going to hold the hood up and Joe's going to spray it and hopefully not spray me. You know what, I um, actually... what? Maybe I'll just try it like this. What do you do think? you just want to do it like that? You want to just try it like this? The only lip I'm concerned with is this. No, nah, let's go ahead and stand it up. Let's go with the yeah. original plan. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, stand this up and spray the hood.
Oh my goodness! That looks so good! I'm too shiny, watch me dazzle like a diamond in the rough. Strap my stuff. I'm excited! I can't believe how well these all turned out. Especially this side, man. That was all dented in. That looks beautiful now, man. You can't see anything. I knew this stuff covered really, really well, but that just, man, you can't see any of the body work on there. <laughs> oh my word, I'm ha I don't want to touch it and move it though. Oh, I wish you guys could see the spray. It looks so good. Mm, the beautiful color. It cleaned up nice and just, I, I'm just in shock about this corner though. You can't tell anything, man. Everything just flattened out nice. All the angles look good. What this thing, st four hours start to finish? What time is it? 11. Yeah, four hours start to finish. Not bad for an evening's work. And brake clean. Yes. It cleans up the gun very nice. Look did at it? That. Nice. Oh, yeah. Clean. And as you saw, we did the underlip here. Joe, hey, man. Boom! Yeah. We'll let her dry out. I, don't, I think it's a nice even two coats on there. Oh man, that gets two fist bumps. I'm happy. Two dude. fist bumps. We killed it tonight, man. There's my hat. It's been a long week, and this has been an amazing, amazing. And I'm just happy for you, man. I want to get this Jeep done, and now no. you, this is the first almost final product because the engine, while it's painted, is still not the final product. Correct. It's not. It's close, but it's not. But this is. That is the final product. And the only thing that's left now, we'll have to go back through and put the hardware on there. The latches, uh, there's a U thingy that goes right there for the windshield to sit on. That's what it is, I think. Ah, yes. Um, oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, no, we got to put these clips back on here, too. Man, why are you freaking out? I didn't touch it. Your shirt goes like this as you go by. Because I've done it before. That's why. I have done perfect paint uh, and walk by and catch your shirt, and you're like, no. Well, we'll see this during the day. If it needs one more coat, we will... Add another coat. I don't think it's gonna need one more coat. I don't think it will either, but. So, like I said, I've read that uh, four quarts should be enough to do this body and this hood, and that would be including the uh, the interior of the body too, so. Uh, it's just so hard to tell. That last coat really though, the way I did it, I, I saw a video of the way, a guy, the way he does it, and he just kind of spritzes it on, and that added a good texture to it. I just. Golly, I just can't believe how well that laid out. So we had a nice dent right here. Yeah. That's uh, pretty well gone. I was going over in detail, showing them all yep. this. It just, it we turned had out to, great. Obviously, you saw this when it started. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I don't ah! know if you could see in the camera where you are yeah, after all that. Look so. at the color difference between your face and mine. I know. It's because you're a little sunburned. I am very sunburned. I know. But that's not sunburned. <laughs> actually, it actually kind of looks purple on the camera. That's okay, though. Corey likes purple. All right. Well, you saw the work from start to finish. We're really excited. We didn't know if we were gonna run out of time, but everything just kind of came together, and I'm happy. I, I know you're happy. And I'm, I'm excited. It's a, that's the first time I've done a spray-on bed liner. I've done three different jobs with a roll-on, and none of them and have turned out this good. I've never used Raptor liner. Uh, I'm really impressed. This video has, we bought it. You know, it has nothing to do with them. We just have seen that it's a good product, so we wanted to give it a try ourselves. Um, and we've we never used it before, so we're real happy yeah. with how it turned out. So, um, yeah, very yeah. happy. Looks great. I love, right. the, I love the color. I love that the application was easy. Uh, the instructions were fairly clear, you yeah. know. Um, yeah, I, I love the way everything turned out. It went great. Cool. We just need to make sure that moth up there stays away from it so it doesn't fly into it. Like, Get away, moth! Anyways, well, we hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, it's really awesome to be able to take something from start to finish and put it in a video. We don't always get to do that, so I hope you... Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Oh, I hope you enjoyed it. So, if you liked it, give us a big thumbs up. Shoot us some comments below. Tell us what you think of the color of just the whole thing. We, we want to hear from everyone. Uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you get subscribed. And uh, with that, it's time to go home. We'll see you guys next time. Fist bump for you, buddy. Ow! <laughs> That will hurt. Fist bump for you. We'll see you next time. Oh.